Hi. So, God has been showing me a lot um, within this past week, two weeks, probably three. Um, but it's, it, yeah, it started like three weeks ago when I first started feeling a lot of things going on. But a lot of it has been good. And, um, of course, the enemy has been at work, too. But I do see some breakthroughs happening through the, a lot of people. And some people are coming out of idolatry. There are people coming out of of obesity i've seen that i mean a lot of people like uh, like thousands coming out of obesity coming out of idolatry coming out of fornication it's just a lot of woke things that are happening <laughs> i guess you can call it woke and then um de being delivered from a lot of these things and they come into the truth about a lot of stuff how it has actually been a hindrance to their lives so that is something that is great to see. That is something that is awesome to see. I'm super excited about it because I have been wanting a lot of women to come out of certain stuff for a long time now. And I, I'm i finally seeing that happen. And um, I've seen some lies that have been put in, put in motion by the devil. And um, people was falling for it. And I've seen that too. And people are finally coming up out of that. So praise God. I'm like, yes, this is wonderful. I, I never want to see nobody fall um, into the enemy's traps and stuff like that. But, you know, unfortunately, there are people who do and that will, but God has been pulling these people out of this. So, um, congratulations if that, if that is you as well that have come out of certain stuff that was going on, certain devices and things. I feel like, you know, it's something that, it's a, it's a lot of things that I have seen that was going on before that is actually being broken off of people and god has shown me this for a reason because he known that has been one of my concerns you know he's like look this is come people are coming out of this people are coming out of that so he knew that would make me really happy because i've been concerned about it for a while like i said but um in turn in terms of love too i i see a lot of that being broken off and then the devil actually trying to resurrect some of the stuff that wasn't supposed to be in place in the first place and i'm like y'all i wish y'all leave this stuff buried and dead where it is at literally because one of the ring leaders to the destruction of love you know um is deceased and if you know who i'm talking about you know who i'm talking about and it's crazy because i made a video pertaining to that some years ago and um i never said the man name but not long after i made that video that man died so um yeah i wasn't glad he died but i was glad that that stuff was gone and that like they trying to resurrect it again i'm like why are they doing this you know this is ridiculous and um it's like some people just do not learn from what, looking at other people you know if you see that this right here did not work out for this person well why would you want to do it too you know this is why i'd be feeling like some people just either they willfully ignorant um or they they just don't care or they suicidal you know because ain't nowhere in the world like i was saying before i feel like certain people should learn from certain people you know we should learn from people learn from other people's misfortune downfalls and mistakes and stuff like that and we can also learn from the good things about people as well like the things that were um actually bringing forth good fruit we can learn from that too and that's a lot of the things that I take and I observe with people and I can, I feel like, okay, let me see what that'll be like in my own life, you know, with God's permission, of course, because what works out for one person may not work for the other person as well. And that brings me to the fact that, <laughs> that brings me to the fact that a lot of people can actually do stuff that others cannot do. Um, we all have our own convictions and things like that. For example, I cannot, you know, eat pork. I, I don't feel like nobody should eat it at all, honestly. But I know a powerful person. I know a couple powerful people. They pretty anointed and they eat pork. And I'm like, you supposed to be spiritual and you eat pork. Like, how you do that? You know, and you don't, you know, you don't even get sick. Me, it would make me sick. Me, I would end up sick and for a very long time just from eating pork and it'll take a long time for that stuff to snap up off of me you know with the things that i've researched and learned about pork i feel like nobody i personally feel like nobody should eat it you know with the health reasons and all of that not just spiritual but health wise and what the pig represents and just all of that you know 
how the pig is made up you know the skin and pores and stuff and what it eats because you know we consume what whatever that animal eats and things so that's why we have grass fed this grass fed that um cage free this and all of that to let us know what they are feeding those specific animals so that we know that what we are consuming right but apparently you know some people they say okay well old testament new testament this and that but um for example i want to give you guys this story one time this was some years ago one time my grandmother she cooked some greens some collard greens and um when i went in there i didn't see no meat in it so apparently somebody had picked all the meat out you know and ate some of the greens but picked all of them i didn't even see a piece of meat okay it was all gone and so i just i was like i was thinking okay maybe she didn't put no pork in here but i know that if she cooked it she had to put some kind of meat in there and usually my grandmother type person she most likely put pork she from back in the day you know so i took i washed off a fork and i stuck the fork in the greens and um i took a bite and ate it and i knew it was extra salty and seasoned for a reason <laughs> for a reason and so um i just put the fork in the sink i took that one bite okay with no meat on it i was sick for two weeks it took me two weeks to shake back i was sick okay i was very 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 sick and this is what i'm saying i cannot do that but it's others that can eat pork and won't nothing happen to them so that is my restriction like that is my conviction restriction and all of that so apparently some other people don't even feel convicted from eating it just like some people don't feel convicted from eating shrimp and things like that i can't eat shrimp either i can't eat none of that stuff but i can't eat fish i can eat any everything that's biblical i can eat it everything that the bible say in the old testament about food i can eat all of that but i cannot eat no pork and i cannot eat no shrimps and all of that type of stuff because it will make me physically ill and um it will have me feeling funny and i used to wonder back then like why i kept getting sick it was because of that eating you know i would eat pork and i didn't know i didn't know no better you know i didn't know that it had a significant you know a, a bad rip to it as far as spiritually and um for health reasons but you know some people other people have their convictions and some people have they seem to be fine okay they seem to be fine i don't know but i know that it will almost kill me so i can't do it but yeah guys there's some beautiful things going on people are being delivered from a whole bunch of stuff hopefully um if the pork is really bad which it said in the bible though um some people get delivered from that too hopefully because i don't trust it just me personally i do not trust pork at all i've seen what it done to me um and i know some people that don't even do like that but i just feel like i don't i don't trust it i've done a lot of research on the pig and the, like, all of that i don't i don't think we're supposed to be eating that you know i don't think we supposed i don't think we're supposed to eat nothing that that eats whatever it won't because a pig will eat anything and i don't what if it ate a snake or something you know Ugh. okay y'all <laughs> all right talk to y'all later bye